So I just did a thing. <laughs> and what in tarnation could that be, ye might ask? I bought pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. <coughs> in true Hufflepuff fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it appears my hubby ate most of them last night while I was getting my beauty sleep. What the heck? But me does love my hubsters, so I won't be going too hard on him. Any hoodle, let's get these in my belly. <laughs> Sniff test. <laughs> First bite incoming. Okay, those are freaking delicious. You're stupid. Finally, we are back with the most cringy crap I've ever seen on the internet. This person seems like a real nightmare. Oh wow, what the hell? What the hell is this? TikTok has gone too far and this, this person, in my mind, represents a lot of what's wrong with TikTok. People post this over-edited bull crap and then idiots sit there because they've got this complete brain rot and just scroll and watch this and it's like oh something isn't changing every two seconds uh, hence my videos that's why you know edit them the way i do then people click right off oh boy this crap needs to stop this nightmare of a person needs to stop i cannot imagine dealing with a person like this in real life quit your silly crap woman you were the same age as me chill the hell out put hiv positive on my like on my profiles mm. people don't want to touch you mm. i remember being on a date with someone so i brought him back to my place I was like okay like i need to tell you something like i'm mm. hiv positive mm -hmm. and i remember he like looked at me it was like i murdered him i was like yeah. i thought he was gonna beat the sh out of me he was like i can't believe you wouldn't tell me and like you gave me hiv and like was just oh, like wow. losing his mind and i'm like mm. no that's not possible even if i bled on you like yeah. in an open wound like that wouldn't happen i'm undetectable yeah. and like yeah. you know but he just like didn't want to hear it now like like the way the law goes, like being mm. undetectable, like I really don't have to like mm. disclose my status. Right. And you think about it, like anyone that you meet on your first date or or like you're hooking up, like are they you like have I have diabetes, I have high blood pressure. You're not telling them any of this. Shit. Unacceptable. Whoa! Wow, this person is a fucking monster. What the hell? My mind is blown. Diabetes and blood pressure is not the same thing as a life-changing disease. Are you serious? Come on. I mean, and this is crazy. Okay, I, I understand they're saying, you know, undetectable, was it like positive undetectable or whatever? Cool. That should be up to the person that you are engaging in adult activities with to decide for themselves, are they willing to risk it? for that biscuit now <laughs> probably probably not who knows i don't know but yeah this is and i'm not saying i'm not saying you gotta put this on your dating profile i don't know a little unethical i feel like there's a you know there's a very certain point and it's definitely before you engage in adult activities with somebody that you should and you must disclose something like that that is insane to me that is and you know too you know that you have this. This isn't even anything that you can say is, you know, morally gray in any any way, shape, or form. You can't even argue and say, "Well, I didn't know that you know that I that I had this." You do know that is honestly disgusting. That is disgusting that you would do do that or risk another person's health because you wanted to be with them. What kind of a person would do that? A bad person. Honestly, in this podcast, I don't know what the crap this is. This is a freak. Mm -hmm, sit there. Mm -hmm. That's a freaking joke right there. You're just going to like sit there <laughs> act like that this is okay? What? <laughs> this should not be allowed. Period. I know there's like apparently different laws and this and that. And I don't know. I'm very confused. This should be highly illegal they should be able to at the very least sue them in some way shape or form or something this is very much misleading them this is sleeping with somebody kind of under false pretenses i mean this is like this is a big thing this is a huge thing uh, this is like you know like you know if i uh, i don't know if, if i slept with somebody 
or something and like I don't know like like I had like I don't know like I didn't have you know my male genitalia down there you know or, or flip it yeah it'd probably better to flip it but you know just for the sake of argument you know I'm used to myself here uh, you know then I feel like that person would be like what the fuck what the hell is this that's not okay you know and, and this 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 you know that example is like I can't think of one that's actually worse you know, without getting insanely graphic for YouTube, and YouTube does not like that. But you know, the what the person actually did is a hundred times worse than the example I'm given here. Right? That just you know, that's that that would be a uh, a no go. You say you care about the students, but half of you are not sure what gender is, especially transgender. I know the lawyer said transsexual earlier. That's not the correct term. It's transgender. I'm a transgender woman, my pronouns are she, her, and I will only accept those pronouns. I will not be addressed any other way. And in the workspace, I'm protected by that. Your students should be too, especially when they don't, they're not over 18, don't have a voice. What is this fight really about? Why is it such entrenched? I know we hear a lot about religious liberty, and uh, quite honestly, uh, I grew up in Christian education all through college. I don't remember any of my doctrinal classes mentioning only male and female. And that's the way it should be. Um, if if you feel it is, awesome. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Now, I don't know what kind of liberal bullcrap college you went to, but yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of a difference between a male and a female, biologically speaking, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? What? I don't know what this person is going on about. Look at this person. Let's take a good look at this person. I don't know if I should be listening to this person or, or this this person not really representing you know any groups, but unfortunately they do. This is like if AI, if you asked AI to create um, the most liberal, you know, male that identifies as a woman that you could. There you go. And let's also make them overweight. Let's just give them. Let's give them every struggle that they could possibly choose. Hey, Chicago. Chicago. The drag pot invasion is upon you, darling. Oh no, God! Join us for the biggest night of drag with the drag pack and me, of course. You know, they can't do anything in this city without having me along. No, God, please, no! This Wednesday. Wednesday. This Wednesday. We have an amazing night of drag, and we need to see you there for it. No! Just for you, Chicago. Is it the Windy City? No, it's like... It is the Windy City? I did it! You thought that a city full of politicians was too much? <laughs> Get a load of a city full of drone clones. No! Wednesday, bye. No! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's real. That <laughs> seems insane. Like, it's almost like a parody. Um, you know what you you know think it is like what drag you you think drag is uh, it's really what it is yeah so yeah that's uh that's different that's wild hey whatever go have a good time just uh you know leave the children out of it and then you know i won't be going but hey yeah go do you go have fun with that anyway folks yeah ah whoo Child's been struggling here a guy here with uh you know i think i've talked about this recently but yeah hey, it was some stuff on about 27 videos that uh yeah, the YouTube is just really knocking me right out of the algorithm. So yeah, it's probably not seeing these videos. Let's be honest here. YouTube just really doesn't want you to see these videos. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious at this point. <laughs> I mean, geez Louise. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, whenever I'm getting like, you know, like literally my the videos being shown to less than 100 people. Mm, yeah, there, there's a problem. There's something's going on here. And there's some, but I do, I do appreciate the ones who are, who are watching the videos. Or sticking with me through these tough times because we will be back. Let's keep mind. Uh, this is all based on election stuff. Honestly, that's that's what you know what I'm gathering from all this. So yeah. So hopefully, maybe hopefully once that that is over, hopefully, hopefully you know YouTube will see that I'm a real person and my opinion wasn't even trying to sway anything at all. Actually, not at all. I was just trying to be like, hey, hey, you know, this is uh, just crazy, isn't it? That's basically what I'm doing. I'm pointing a finger at him and being like, hey, look at this. It's pretty weird, huh? Pretty crazy. It's pretty much all my videos. Yeah, so yeah. But yeah, yeah, YouTube doesn't like that. They don't like whenever you point to it. But hey, you know, flip it, switch it, put it over here, and it's perfectly okay. And you're getting all the impressions, right? It's just being shown to everybody. Mm, yeah, it's different. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel uh, in any way, shape, or form. Really, really kind of trying to work on some things behind the scenes. 
it's personal, you know, it's personal crap going on. It's got a little busy there. I'm trying to work on stuff behind the scenes again. Uh, you know, it's kind of really honestly derailed me quite a bit on a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I'm trying to work on t-shirts and this and that. And I uh, hopefully be working on some live shows here here soon. Just the schedule's just wild. It's, it's hard to do it, but I'm trying to figure it out, trying to work out when I can do it. Honestly, right now, though, I'm a little worried, though, because I'm pretty sure nobody's going to you know, even see that I'm doing a live show. But, you know, we'll see. 